Now I just want to comment a little bit on uh, some of the uh, discoveries and interpretations of the pre-Diluvian structures on planet Earth, the megalithic structures. Okay, um, I've lately heard people thinking that you know these archaeological finds somehow predate the history that is recorded in the Holy Bible, uh, uh, and it doesn't. The Holy Bible, um, the divinely inspired Holy Bible made public, you know, to mankind, the most published and translated book in the entire world that everybody should read and study their whole lives, has um, been an error in prophecies, in other words, its divine signature is stamped in the fact that that in its many thousands of prophecies, of which there's no other literature like that on planet Earth, including your ancient hieroglyphics, including your ancient cuneiforms, including all ancient written languages, there's nothing like the Holy Bible on planet Earth in, in pictographic or, or uh, alphanumeric um, languages. It's it's unique, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm getting upset about people trying to claim that you know the Holy Bible isn't the the um, how do you say the standard the measure um, for everything else. In other words, we got all these people, man, digging up things on planet Earth again, the pre-Diluvian civilizations, and then they're putting a spin on it like. Oh, aliens visited planet Earth and 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 all kinds of of, 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 of imaginations and fantasies, man, for these people. Now, I'm not saying people can't share their ideas and thoughts and opinions, but I'm going to share mine. You know, um, I, I'd like I'd like I'd like to chime in on this discussion. Okay, um, bottom line. Okay. Um, I don't hear any of these people that have a personal. Um, claim to be taught directly by God. I don't hear these people um, claiming that they remember um, pre-incarnation like I do. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you you know what I think about um, all the uh, megalithic structures, especially the pyramids that are being uncovered and and on every continent and even under the oceans. Okay, that's pre-Diluvian civilization, and this nonsense of imagining that they're tens of thousands of years old is baloney. Okay, um, when when uh, Lucifer um, created discord among the Elohim, in other words, among the angels, among the consciousness. You know the the collective consciousness that was one with our eternal Creator. When these beings fell, when they were cast out of the heavens, their their one thought, their desire was like to get back there. In other words, they were cast down. They were cast out. They the the no longer you know reigning and and no longer united with God. And 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 many of them, many of the when they fell into darkness and ignorance, you had this desire, um, A, to get back, and B, um, some of them were delusional, thought they could war with, with our eternal creator. Okay? They don't need spaceships. In other words, what, what all these people are neglecting, and I think they're neglecting because I think you know they're lacking the Holy Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you, you start to see dreams, visions, and from God, so you, you start to understand exactly what um, these messages are um, in the ancient languages, because you're being shown them from our Creator. It doesn't require an alien. In other words, the, all the knowledge in the universe comes from our eternal Creator. Now, the fallen angels, okay, have concocted all kinds of imaginations, kind of like all these people are imagining that that ancient civilization must have been built by aliens instead of just people like us. Now let me clarify. The fallen beings, okay, had had knowledge, but they had the knowledge of evil, how to do evil. God gives life so they 
have the knowledge of, of war and, and death and, you know, it's not like God doesn't know these things. It's that it, God, God wants to focus on, on construction, on, on edification, on building, on, on what makes for life. And these beings, you know, were warlike, viceful, lustful, and, and so their desire to get back in the heavens is, is more than just a desire to, to get back to where they came from. It's, it's, it's a desire to actually war against our eternal creator and the faithful angels. So that's the reason why it's all, the structures are all built like mountains and pyramids, okay? Um, all of the ancient fairy tales, you know, um, or I should say modern fairy tales about our planet are you should you should sweep it aside in other words all these geological stories by the by the evolutionary paradigm of, of these ignoramus I shouldn't call them ignoramuses but they're people lacking so much knowledge they don't even know God so everything they teach and everything they think is just fallacious all of it it's, it's all just a pile of crap really and 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 if you read my you know, five-part exposition on the modern evolutionary paradigm is, is is not even good science fiction. In other words, it's it's so ridiculous, man. It doesn't even pass the merit of, of decent science fiction. It's so ridiculous. And the only reason people believe it is because they're it's drummed into their heads in public indoctrination, and reinforced through through mainstream media. In other words, scientists believe this stuff, so you should too. And it's it's baloney. It's nonsense. So. The reason there's pyramids all over the planet is because prior to the flood, prior to, you know, the massive um, upheaval of, 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 of the fountains of the deep bursting open and, and, and catastrophic um, plate tectonics. And in other words, these, these, these mountains are not showing signs of billions of years of erosion. They're not showing millions of years of erosion. Have you ever seen a volcano? I mean, how fast it gets covered, you know, with vegetation and so on and so forth. It's all, it's all showing, all of it, man, is, is, is showing recent history. And we've got evidence of, of a kilometer thick layers, man, being, being slid across <coughs> granite and mantles and, and so on and so forth. In other words, the, the evidence of the sedimentary layers are all over the planet are not evidence of deep time at all like the claim. It's evidence of the flood, and all these people laugh about that, but it's it's that's it's factually what it is. The the rapid burial of, of all the various life forms, including invertebrates, and found in these indicate you know high velocity you know currents and and it just they indicate the deluge and the fact that we have the history okay of it. Okay, so now. In, in the cradle of civilization, they're finding, you know, a structure a, a, like a ziggurat, in other words, pyramid um, structure, w uh, that's 4,000 meters per side at the base, right? Okay, so the first um, constructive effort of, of the fallen beings and their influence upon mankind was to build the Tower of, of, of Babel, of, of the Tower of Bell, in other words, the the tower, the tower of, of essentially giving honor to the devil instead of God, but it's to get back into the heavens where they were cast out of. In other words, to get back into the the <coughs> the stars, the 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 lights that they were cast out of. They're the, they're the fallen stars. They're the they're the you know, darkened angels. They're the, you know, the the Nephilim and the, you know, they're they're what people call in the in the ancient astronauts uh, the Anunnaki. And st these are these are these darkened beings, man, that fell after Satan. Okay, so yeah, they have knowledge, but so do the angels. It's, it, people are practically worshiping these demonic beings, man, and and. They shouldn't. Okay, so there was master craftsmen <coughs> among the sons of God, but but the but the the devils would would see what the sons of God would do and build, and they would copy. 
And it's the same thing they do these days. Uh, in other words, good knowledge comes from God, but then, but then people with corrupt imaginations always end up perverting it. It's like uh, nuclear power, instead they want to make nuclear bombs. It's that kind of perversion, it's that kind of corruption. It's like something that's intended for good, they use for evil. Okay, and, it, and, and that's the reason why there's all these pyramids. In other words, the first structure of the Tower of, of, of Babel, the, 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 the tower honoring the devil and trying to get back into heaven, back at God, is, is, is built of this mountain. Because why? Because in that area, if you notice, it was it, it's still, to this day, rather plain-like. I mean, the, the, there's, there's mountains in the distance, but, but, but my point being is, in, prior to the deluge, the, 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 there is evidence that these mountains were recently formed, <coughs> in other words, during the deluge and, and after, as the waters abated, that there was massive catastrophic plate tectonics that created these ranges at that time in recent history, not in not millions of years ago, not billions of years ago, not any of these fantasies that these people are claiming. And you can look at um, places like Mount St. Helens and see you know, how fast canyons can form. And that was just one small volcano. Now, imagine a, a catastrophic, you know, um, event like, like a global deluge and how much massive landslides that would cause and how much, you know, um, upheaval of the, it says the deep, <coughs> the fountains of the deep broke open. And we can see these vents, these superheated vents along these, you know, trans, trans the ridges, and, and, and as a result of the, uh, you know, um, um, plates uh, colliding, uh, we have the ring of fire and stuff, it's, it's, it's roughly, um, even now, um, relatively um, rapid motion. It's it's not that slow, and 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 a catastrophic divine judgment event that all these people want to pretend is is not what happened when it is what's what happened. You know would give um, rise to um, volcanic eruptions. I mean all kinds of geologic <coughs> phenomena, including. Um, the elevation of, of mountains, and, and that's the reason why we've got shells on top of you know uh, Mount Everest. You know, not that not that the water rose that high. It's that Everest. You know, the ground that that now is Mount Everest in the deluge. You know, was uh, was much lower. So all these people are building pyramids because <coughs> there weren't these high mountains uh, and <coughs> high um, places. Um, at least as high as they are like Mount Everest today and stuff. And and in prior in the pre Diluvian epoch. So they're building these as as a way to get back into heaven. Okay? Um, and they're and they're motivated by the the spirit of air. And that spirit of air is still working in people and and, and now it's it comes out in a variety of, of, of ways. In other words, imaginations that are just way off basis way off basis. Now I'm not saying that, that there is not flight technologies and, 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 and even that, that mankind and what we call the future won't develop, you know, let's say interplanetary craft or, or things of this nature. Because God says whatsoever we can imagine, it, it's possible. So provided Christ doesn't return prior to the advent, then it's it's very likely that mankind at some point in time is going to develop you know um, spacecraft, um, and not just you know rockets that launch to the moon or or we launch pro probes in space, but but actual um, an actual means to to travel through our galaxy and maybe even beyond. Now, in Christ. You don't need spacecraft. So all these people imagining that we've got aliens visiting the spacecraft in, in the past and that they're the ones responsible for the pyramids and so on and so forth are, are, just, are just that. They're imagining things. The knowledge to, to, to build is, is recorded as coming through both the lineage of the sons of God and the fallen angels, the, the Nephilim. And, and, and that's what they are. They're not aliens. They're... they're they're spirit beings just like you and I, only, <coughs> only evil. 
And and we have knowledge of genetics, they have knowledge of genetics, but they corrupt it and pervert it. And, and as a result of the corruption and perversion of, of genetic knowledge of divine design, they created larger creatures, including giants, giants, real giants. So, so the reason why they could move what seems impossible for us to move, even though there's people that are, you know, say around six feet tall that have shown that they can move, you know, 100 ton blocks of, 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 of concrete and stuff, um, just by themselves, one person. So it's it's all a ma it's all a matter of knowledge it's all a matter of you know do you know what you're doing you know and and but these beings were much larger and much stronger and they had and coupled with the knowledge they were able to build these megalithic structures didn't require alien technology didn't require you know um, anything outside of of, of just um, knowing how to move heavy objects especially heavy objects of stone <coughs> I was in the re relocation the household and commercial relocation business for years, and I and I've come across pl um, plenty of items that are very heavy, um, items that needed cranes and so on and so forth. But there are ways to move, and you can get on YouTube and find out that how these how how these individuals are moving houses and barns and and like I said, massive concrete blocks and stuff the size of uh, Stonehenge and things. So, and these are just people our size today using things like, you know, rocks and pebbles and, 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 and uh, large pieces of wood, you know. So, so, and around some places on earth they found these sphere, these spherical rocks. And, 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 and I know from moving really heavy objects that sometimes, man, having um, something like bearings is the very best way to move something really 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 heavy and so I see that these these massive spherical rocks could have been used not not in other words could have not just been a, a something to pass the time away but could have been used for um, um, construction purposes and the deluge the deluge man upset all kinds of boulders I mean, whole mountains uh, of, of, of sediments were being, we're talking continental size amounts of sediments were being, you know, uh, moved around in the deluge. It was, it was massive. This wasn't, this wasn't no regional event. It wasn't no, um, it was global and catastrophic. It was, it was a, a massive catastrophic event that, that, that uh, wiped out, you know, um, that, ancient civilization and and after the that's why after the flood you don't you don't find a lot of that type of megalithic you know um, architecture you know being constructed on earth after after the flood and uh, so you know I'm not saying that people didn't try to mimic some of it you know afterwards the um, some of the knowledge and again as they you know, you know probably came across some of these ancient structures, maybe trying to imitate and so on. I mean, there's people even today trying to imitate, um, you know, um, pyramids and things. So so it's not that, but nothing on the scale of, of Baal Beck. And, 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 and those, those um, locals say that that, 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 that that structure was built by Cain and his descendants. So, and again, through, through the descendants of Cain, um, we we find um, Baal worship, in other words, worshiping the devil, um, paganism, and it traces all the way back to them. And uh, so and and so, all of this information is recorded in the Bible, and and that's and <coughs> that's our that's our standard, and that's that's the reference that we need to to, to use when we are digging up these things instead of putting all these. You know, ridiculous, I shouldn't say it's ridiculous, but imaginary stories to these finds. These finds are explained what, by what is clearly recorded in written history. And, and mankind d didn't evolve from monkeys. That's, <coughs> that's absolute nonsense of the worst kind. 
mankind from the time we have written history mankind's had the kind of knowledge that we have today or 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 different knowledge or even greater knowledge in some areas but the what's lacking today what I hear lacking from all these people trying to 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 um, claim it was alien technology is that they're they're not spiritually minded in other words when when you unite with God in Christ um, the, the power of the Holy Spirit and divine knowledge is is shown you in dreams and visions so you see like um, creatures and you see um, things that actually represent you know um, other things for instance if you might see a whale you know <coughs> swimming in boiling water <coughs> and or something like that and what that would represent probably is like a ship or a submarine if it's a, if it's a whale if it's a submersible you know um, type of sea some type of sea going crap you know uh, could be a ship could could be a could be a submarine and the boiling waters um, represent during a time of war in other words uh, the raging waves of the sea foaming out their shame it's people getting violent in other words the waters were were you know whatever more than 90 percent like something like 97 percent water or something like in other words fluids so the raging waves of the sea are, 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 sim, are, are symbolizing warfare people at war and you see a a, a whale man uh in, in in other words you have a vision or a dream but it means something in reality okay and 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 so when these people are writing these pictures um these are spiritual beings and they came from the they came from god and were cast out of the heavens and they want to get back there so they're they're they build the pyramids and then when they the tower of babel was the people were scattered they still the groups started building those that same structure they're still trying to get back to heaven so so that's why the the fascination of the stars that's why the fit that's why all the ancient cultures are, are fixed on the stars and 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 astronomy and uh and and stories that of the zodiac and it's because they can't that's where we that's where all spirits come from they come from the heavens they come from god and the, the fallen ones were cast out they want to get back you know they're, they're not permitted back but they're trying to get back so so it's not it's not aliens it's 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 people just like us only with you know um, evil intent malicious intent and uh, and uh, and when you dig up the pre-diluvian civilizations you need to use the Bible man to understand and, and correctly interpret what you're finding instead of trying to claim that some alien species man you know came to earth and 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 taught you know um, uh, mankind anything you know? when you know God and Enoch knew God they walked with God Adam and Eve walked with God when you know God the source of all wisdom knowledge now you don't need some alien to come clue you in on how to build stuff and, and if and if all these people that were on the ancient astronaut theories if, if every single one of them knew God they'd know that and uh, I wish people would would seek to know God instead of trying to to seek to find some um, alien <laughs> I'm like I, I shouldn't laugh man but but it's it's sad it's sad um, that um, um, mankind has the opportunity to learn from the one being in all the universe that will not lie to them and will not you know tickle their um, imaginations with fantasies you know, ridiculous imaginations but will we'll teach them fundamental truth doesn't really need technology in other words once you're one in the spirit you can travel through um, the space-time continuum um, spiritually in other words you can see things past present and future with God well, 
In other words, what God permits you to see and understand and know. He knows each of our characters, so he's not going to be like, you know, giving a, the, the greatest divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to those that are, are evil, that are wicked. But if you really want to know why all things are the way they are and, and what these things that you're digging up in the earth really mean and, and why they drew certain pictures and so on and so forth, then, then seek God instead of seeking some you know, um, imaginary you know, spacecraft and with imaginary you know, um, aliens. Okay? Now I'm not saying because I do know God, I'm not saying there aren't other life forms in his creation. In other words, God is from above, so we know that, and he says, and he says uh, um, that where I am, you may be also. So the departed spirits go to be with God, okay, and, and God's a creator and his children create. So, so ultimately in, in, in eternity, I'm fully convinced that, that when he says I'll give you a white stone, that he's talking about your very own star, perhaps your very own solar system, and, and because he calls the earth a jasper and a, and a, a sapphire stone. And in, in Revelation, when the seas are gone, he calls it a jasper stone, because the earth, I suppose, is going to be so prolifically, abundantly fruitful, like a, a paradise, that, that there'll just be maybe rivers and lakes, <laughs> instead of huge you know, bodies of, of uninhabitable regions of water. Now, um, so, but regardless, regardless, that since God is, is the creator and has created power to, to manifest, you know, things, um, I'm firmly convinced that his children, you know, um, will be able in, in his vast creation to, to manifest things, including, you know, you know, more than likely create their own what appears to be living creatures. And as such, since eternity there is no time, that it's very possible that, that these beings that came from the timelessness of the Elohim, you know, um, have created uh, or corrupted um, um, creation with their own imaginations. In other words, altered life forms. So I'm not saying there's there's definitely no physical, you know, possibility of, 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 of some type of altered life form. But what I'm saying is, is if there is, then, then it more than likely is actually a corruption of, of what God actually made. In other words, in other words, until we're perfected and until we're, we're, until creation has bound all the fallen um, spirits or or as God put, puts it, cast into the lake of fire. Now the sun, you know, um, could uh, very li likely qualify as a lake of fire in a, um, a certain, in a certain way. I mean, you take liquids, burning liquids in, in, in space and they, they turn into a spherical um, star, you know, or, or shape of a star. And whether it's a small droplet of burning liquids or, or something massive, so, as I see it, all these stars and suns, I mean, easily qualify for, you know, lake of fire. And, um, and, uh, um, in other words, if, if this fallen creation is going to be burned with fire and, and, and hell, it, it gives up and, and it's all cast into the lake of fire, it could just be something like the planet being thrown right into the sun or, or the sun expanding and consuming it or something like that. I'm not saying that that's what it, what it is. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm just saying that it's ridiculous to mock the Holy Bible when you we see evidence of everything it talks about in reality ubiquitously, and 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 it's also you know not in my opinion not very wise or not very intelligent to to depart from recorded history and the most reliable literature on earth, the Holy Bible, um, for you know individual imaginations fantasies and, uh, on these interpretations of what they're digging up when, it's, when, we're, when we're already told exactly what it is it's the pre-Diluvian civilization of megalithic structures of the fallen ones, the Nephilim the, the Rephaim and their, and their influence on mankind trying to get back to heaven, trying to get back to, at God, trying to trying to war against our eternal creator, you know, foolishly in their, in their delusions 
All right, I've, I've hammered that enough. Um, again, I, I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad. I just wish people would 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 have the intelligence to 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 realize that the advent of mankind on Earth ha has recorded history, whether it's cuneiform language or 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 pictograph language or alphanumeric language. It doesn't matter. It, it, from from the time mankind appeared on Earth, there is no evolution. There's 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 no missing link. The entire chain, their entire fantasy, has no evidence or proof whatsoever. It's just complete baloney. But the Bible has 100 percent. I mean, uh, his it's historically accurate. Everything in it, the the archaeologists man, are, are finding the city of David. They're in in, in the finding the ziggurats. They're, they're they're finding the evidence of, of, of the giants. And in other words, none none of the fiction that's being taught as history and science in our public education systems has any support. It's pure fiction. It's c complete nonsense. It's lies and deceptions. And uh, and yet the Holy Bible. You know, um, like no other literature on earth, man, has stood the test of time and is supported ubiquitously by everything we see, everything we dig up, everything. It verifies the historicity and the literary veracity of the Holy Bible. And uh, as such, man, it's, it should be the, the primary reference and standard by which we interpret everything we observe in creation because it... it, it it, how do you say correlates perfectly 100 percent and the fact that that's not being taught is a crying shame um, the, the fact that that we're letting Antichrist and and delusional individuals and, and very ignorant individuals and wicked individuals lead mass millions of innocent children away from God away from knowing God away from knowing what's fundamentally true and sound doctrine is, is a crying shame I wish Christians if, if would you see people protest and unite for all kinds of reasons, but but if there was ever a cause for Christians to unite, it's and it's now. It's it's to stand up and protest all these lies and deceptions that are being forced upon innocent children in our public indoctrination um, system and in media, and that the lie, the evolutionary paradigm, the nonsense, the absolute ridiculous nonsense of the evolutionary paradigm would would cease to be taught, man, anywhere. I mean, it, it's so ridiculous it, and, and so um, insupportable. By it, It's unconscionable. It's outright lying, lying, complete fiction um, um, to um, children, um, causing them to think that there's no God and causing them to... to in their ignorance, mock the Holy Bible because they've never read it or studied it, and they know next to nothing about reality and about what the fact, uh, what the sciences really do support, which it, which is its veracity. The divine inspiration of the Holy Bible is totally irrefutable when you when you actually know what what um, the sciences really teach, what what the geologic evidence really is, what the what the true laws of physics and not these imaginary ones man all the bogus theories of, of today man are, are ridiculous big bang theory I mean nonsense and 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 uh, anyway I'm I'm probably going to you know by God's grace if I live long enough try to write an exposition on pseudoscience and I'm gonna list the modern the current as of this date theories and so-called laws of, of science um, as many as I can, and 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 then and, and tell how how many of those are just nonsense fiction. Um, in other words, I mean bogus, you know, outright fiction being taught as science. Um, and uh, and it needs to cease. It needs to stop. You know, uh, completely. You know, um, and we need to return to the Holy Bible as the primary textbook for all primary, secondary, and even postgraduate education levels. In other words, it needs to be the primary reference book lifelong. Lifelong. You know, the standard by which we interpret all other 
literature and, 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 and evidence on planet Earth, the things we find and see in creation. And then you're not wondering, oh, where did all these megalithic structures come from? The Bible tells you, tells you point blank. And, and, and that's the evidence. You're, you're looking at the evidence and creating these fictional stories when, when we have recorded history that tells us exactly what they are. Where they came from. So, you know, I'm weighing in on this ancient astronauts and all this, all the baloney man that's come out in recent history that's causing people to depart from, from common sense. In other words, from, from thinking correctly. From understanding, you know what you're seeing, and 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 what the evidence is actually supporting, and and it's the it's the historicity, the the actual veracity of the divinely inspired Holy Bible from the uh, from the first word to the to the last word. It's and if people read it, then they wouldn't be coming up with like, oh, it you know the 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 ancient people must have been taught by aliens. You know, come. Come on, you know, seriously. If they knew God, they wouldn't say such things. And so that's what I'm really bummed about, is how many people on planet Earth still do not know God. They're still not learning for directly from the spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ, or, or, or half the nonsense I hear these days I would, wouldn't be encountering at all. People would you know, would know better. So if you don't know God, please call on the Lord Jesus Christ. Please pray, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins, cleanse me, and send your Holy Spirit into my life so that I can know you and learn from you. And then go get baptized by total immersion in His name, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, the Lord Jesus Christ, by somebody that knows God says they know God and have been preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ in other words their, their life is evident you know, that they are zealous for God and full of his spirit because they testify of him in other words if somebody has the spirit of Jesus Christ they're going to testify of Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is in them testifying you know, for, of himself and if they don't have the spirit of Jesus Christ, in other words, if they're not testifying of Jesus Christ, they don't know Jesus Christ. In other words, they don't have his spirit. And you shouldn't have somebody that doesn't know God baptizing you, laying hands on you. You find somebody that knows God testifying of Jesus Christ, the one true God, and, and, uh, and you pray according to his word, Father in heaven, in, you know, in Jesus' omnipotent name, and then name of in the Hebrew Yehoshua Amashiach give unto me your Holy Spirit that I might know you and learn from you from this moment forward and then you'll understand why they drew the pictures they drew and and you know the the different languages and the different imagery and so on and so forth because you'll see it firsthand and you'll understand God will show you. And you won't be thinking that some alien man flew here and free game to earthling. None of that nonsense. Father in heaven, remove the lies and deceptions and let your truth, your word of truth, reign supreme in the hearts, minds, and souls of all mankind, every man, woman, and child. Let it come to pass that your word is fulfilled, that all will know you from the least to the greatest, from the greatest to the least. In Yahushua's mighty name, Amen.